वेलकम बैक इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट डेटा ब्रिक्स ऑटो ऑप्टिमाइज और डेल्टा टेबल ऑटो ऑप्टिमाइज कैपेबिलिटी टू हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज ऑटो ऑप्टिमाइज वॉट कैपेबिलिटीज डू यू हैव आई हैव प्रिपेयर सिनारियो सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इन विच सिनारियो दिस फीचर इज यूजफुल एंड देन हाउ टू यूज इट एंड वॉट आर दी प्रोज एंड कॉन्स ऑफ यूजिंग दी ऑप्टिमाइज और ऑटो ऑप्टिमाइज फीचर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद सिनारियो सो लेट मी टेक यू टू दी सिनारियो नोटबुक here is the notebook let's start with the problem statement we have a data pipeline that ingests transforms and writes a large volume of data so it's a kind of data ingestion or data collection pipeline which ingests data maybe implement some simple easy transformations and writes the ingested data maybe in raw tables or in early stage tables but we are writing large volumes of data our investigation shows that the job is creating a small files we want to identify an approach to avoid creating a small file so that's a simple problem statement we have a data ingestion or data collection job which is producing huge number of small files and we already learned that a small files is a problem for spark spark struggles to efficiently read a small files so how can we avoid a small file problem but before we try to understand how can we fix this problem let's benchmark it and try to see the situation ourselves so what do we want to benchmark benchmark the right operation uh, and our right is partitioned right because we have a huge volume of data so we want to partition it by some uh, columns so that uh, we can leverage the partition pruning and all that so we are we have a partition table we want to do a partition right uh, for this benchmark we will be using four node a cluster each node comes with four cpu cores and 14 gb memory what is the data volume we are doing it with only 14 gb of data uh, that's enough to demonstrate the problem what is the goal validate the small file problem make sure that we uh, know that the problem exist and we are creating a small files so let's quickly look at the code code is very simple i'm setting uh, databricks io cache enabled to false uh, this is my data source directory we will be reading data from here uh, and this is my uh, target table sales fact 11 that's the table these are the columns this table is partitioned by year and month so we will be reading data from this source uh, doing some simple transformations and producing the results into this sales fact 11 table and this table is stored at this location so we are creating that table table already exist and our job keeps on appending data on a regular basis in this table so let's see how we are uh, reading data so we are reading data using spark.read format delta load from this fact directory filter it only for 2018 apply some simple transformations create month day account all these columns and produce the sales df data frame once we have the data frame uh, we want to write it into the delta format and save it into the same sales fact 11 table and uh, this table is partitioned by year and month uh, we already saw here year and month so the right should also be partitioned by year and month and we are writing it into append mode so this job keeps on running keeps on appending more and more data that's all uh, we want to run this and see that we are creating a small files so i have already executed it let me jump to the job and show you so let me go to my compute menu and uh, job compute and uh, this is the guy this is the job that i executed to benchmark that notebook now let's go to the spark ui and directly jump to the sql data frame tab we don't want to do too much investigation all i wanted to see is that uh, this is my right operation Now these are create table operations but this is my write operation and how much time it is taking so it is taking 2.9 minutes it's a very simple sql uh, expression which reads data implements some simple transformations and writes the output as a partitioned table and it is taking 2.9 minutes so that's one thing i wanted to see that how much time it is taking the second thing that i wanted to see is what is the file size it is uh, creating uh, so that we can make sure that we are producing a small files there are many ways to look at the file size for this uh, table but i am taking a simple path i am directly going to my azure account and looking inside my container uh, this is the container and uh, this is the directory 
and sales fact 11 this is the directory where my data is being created for year 2018 that's the first partition second partition is month month one two three four like that so let's go inside month one and try to look at the file size so these are the partition files or part files created by uh, spark write operation right all these so many files you load more and you can see a lot more a load more a lot more so in a single directory or in a single partition which is for year 2018 month one we created a bunch of data files all these are uh, parquet files if you look at the size all are approximately 8 mb right 8 mb each 8 mb each 8 mb each right so 8 mb i won't say is critical or a complex a small file problem because we have seen scenarios where we are creating 1 kb 5 kb files 10 kb files or 1 mb half mb files uh, 8 mb is still better uh, but based on this data volume and uh, uh, configurations it is creating 8 mb file which is still a small file right we still have a small file problem in a typical case we want to keep our files as close as to 128 mb yeah, but this is 8 mb so that's all we uh, confirmed we saw that we are creating a, a small file problem uh, if you go back to my scenario notebook uh, this is the problem statement where we started that our job is ingesting transforming and writing large volumes of data and investigation shows that the job is creating a small files and we verified that that job is indeed creating a small files now we want to identify an approach to avoid creating small files or fix the small file problem how do you solve it 